Chris, last pre-season game? Uh, yeah, so we played our reserves today. Uh, they're new to the club this year. Uh, Josh Wellman's come over. I've known Josh for a few years. Um, always stayed in contact with him because he used to play for the club. Uh, he did his own Sunday team, but he just sort of had enough of the secretary side of it and that. But um, I wanted to obviously build the club up. So we've got to the two Sunday teams now. So Josh has come over with his team. Um, so we just finished with pre-season. Uh, having a pre-season game with each other, sorry. Uh, we was hoping the league was going to start this week, but it hasn't. Um, I believe it's starting next week, so we just finished today uh, with a game. Uh, yeah, it was all right. Uh, I, I weren't really fussed about the result, I said to the boys at the start of the game. It was just about performance, and it's the last chance for boys to sort of impress for me, really. Um, I go away next weekend, so for the first league game, I'm not here. So Dale's going to be taking the team. So I just said to the boys, it's your last chance to impress me today. Um, and we've done all right. Yeah, I thought we played well. System played well. Uh, scored some good goals, really good goals. Looking forward to watching them back when, that, when this game goes up. Um, the reserves struggled for numbers. They could do with a couple more bodies coming in, I think. Uh, and then they struggled in the game for injuries and that as well. So taking both out, I just said, for us, it's just about the performance for the first team, for my team, which I thought it was there. I thought everyone had a good game and that's all I can ask for, really. How do you feel it's gone this pre-season? Um, we started off well, obviously because of the COVID thing, it's all up in the air. Uh, we had a first couple of games, we were playing good, playing well, and then they brought the cup semi-final in, which we played, that was a big game, obviously that's gone up, so we've got a cup final to look forward to, but to be honest with you, once we made the cup final, the following performances, which you, which you can see, obviously if people, anyone watches our games, you can see the results, we've, we've lost a couple now. Um, so the performance has been under par, but I mean, you're gonna, it's football, you're going to win games, you're going to lose games. The only thing I ask for, for any of my teams is that we just go out and we just play football. Um, we've performed today, which is good, but like I said, these last couple of games we haven't performed, hence why we've lost. That's just the way I see it. So it uh, could have been better, but we're going to, we're gonna, I've said to the boys, we're going to have games this year or during the season, so we're going to lose, we could easily lose three games on the bounce. Um, we could win five games on the bounce. That's just, that's just football. So um, overall, we've got a couple of new players in. We've got, obviously, we've got Kurt back. Kurt's a massive signing for us. Great to have him back. Brought in Sean Eastman. He's been a good signing for us at the back. Um, apart from that, we've kept everyone else, really. So I'm really looking forward for the year. We didn't need much to add. We've got, we obviously, I'm, I'm happy with our forwards. It's just keeping them all fit and committed, really. Like, obviously, the way I work the team is based off of training. So the boys have to be committed to training. If they're not a trainer, I probably won't select them, which they all know. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the season coming up as well. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Yeah.